What is happening, beautiful people? So, Sir Kalama said this long. If you're watching the vlog for the first time, welcome. My name is Zaman. Today is Friday. TGIF. End the week strong, man. Don't let the summer holidays or the weather, if it's nice wherever you are, hold you down. Get that shit done so you end the week strong. Have fun on the weekends. You know what I mean? Don't let things slide so you gotta worry about it following week. It's a nice day out. It's decent. I mean, it's kind of off and on. It rained a little bit here and there. But I'm glad it did because, like I said, you know, it's been so dry that the roads have been dusty and we need the rain because of the forest fires. I'm just working away. I'm not going to do much today. Um, huge cut over again today. So I'll be strapped with that. Five o'clock, I got a bank appointment, which I got to go to. Um, see if I can get some stuff sorted out for myself. And then that's pretty much it, man. Uh, weekend, I'll be working. Uh, working lots. Uh, myself and wifey will be working. So it's going to be, you know, one of those weekends, man, where... You know, I'd like to have gone to go, you know, go somewhere or do something, but I don't think it's gonna happen. But first things first, I'm gonna get my jaw going on and go downstairs and start cracking. Just working away, fam. It's almost four o'clock. I was actually investigating some sort of inventory software for my um, whole retail arbitrage, and a lot of people have been using what they call inventory labs. So I just downloaded it. Just working with it now. It's gonna take a good few hours for it to kind of collect all the data from Amazon account because it connects to it. So it looks pretty interesting. Gives you the ability to not only add stuff and it'll automatically add it into your inventory in Amazon, but it gives you cool reporting. It tells you profits, you know, you can put your cost of the goods in there. So it seems pretty decent. It is like 60 bucks a month, I think, but it also comes with an app for your phone calls called Scoutify, I think. It's kind of like the Amazon app where you can scan stuff and it's supposed to be a lot better. So I'm gonna test it out. Most probably I'll end up going with something like this because I wanna continue with retail arbitrage and all in arbitrage, mm -hmm. just cause I find it fun. So I'm gonna test this out and I, I have a good, I've got a very good feeling I'm gonna be keeping this. So I'll keep you guys posted on that. All right fam, time to head out, get some banking stuff done. I'm not very confident that uh, it's gonna go well just because I've tried to do this in the past and this particular bank is just uh, very picky. So be it, I don't blame them. So wish me luck, hopefully this goes well. Some well needed rain is getting kind of wet out. It's a little sprinkle of rain, which is good, we need it, you know what I mean? Just gonna quickly run to the bank, hopefully this won't take too long. Like I said, wish me luck. <clears throat> All right fam, so that was, uh, that was hit and miss. The guy who, Fidel, the guy who hooked me up um, at the bank was very good. Um, unfortunately, um, what I needed to do was not able to get done today right away. It's gonna take about three business days, which is fine, I guess. It kind of sucks, but I really needed it to be approved, um, you know, ASAP. But it is what it is. Hopefully, he said he'll hear something back tomorrow. If that's the case, you know, then we're ready to rock and roll. So that's pretty much it. I'm gonna head back home. And by the way, check that out. See the tower behind me? You see that? That's our first tower in the area. Um, that was an interesting uh, process. I was on the phone with TD Bank. I bank with TD here in uh, Canada, but they offer a borderless account, which is a US account for us here in Canada. I originally went to the branch, but I didn't have all the right information. Um, but he did tell me that I can do it from home. So I just spent the last 45 minutes on the phone with a, with a client rep uh, who's able to open the account for me. Um, before the account is actually active, there's a bunch of stuff that I gotta do. I gotta go into the branch again, uh, hopefully tomorrow and fill out a couple of forms. Now the reason why I wanted this account was because I'm doing stuff in Amazon.com which is obviously a US, US based site and they pay in US dollars. Now if I was to use my Canadian account what's going to happen is Amazon is going to take that US you know funds that I have in there convert it and you know and put Canadian money into my Canadian account which is fine but the problem is they'll dock off, you know, some percentage off that and plus whatever, you know, it comes out to like four to five percent. Um, so, and if you're working and you need to send, you know, say you need to send money into the US or whatever it is, you know, back and forth, that's a significant hit. So I've got this US account. So basically Amazon will dump this money into this Canadian US borderless account. 
um, direct, there's no hit, there's no fees, and then I can move that over from my, uh, you know, US account into my Canadian account whenever I choose to. So I highly recommend this, and this is stuff that I've learned over the internet. So if you're an international seller, right, you know, there's some online stuff that you guys can open, and I'll go this in detail. Like I said, I wanna go through the process first, get it down packed, and I'll go through the details. If you wanna start right away, if you're in Canada, I believe TD gives you a personal, these are personal accounts, by the way, personal Canadian board, Canadian US borderless account, Bank of Montreal does a Canadian, uh, you know, US borderless account. I think they even do a business account, I'm not too sure and Royal Bank does it as well. So there you guys have it, man. So if you bank with one of those three, if you don't, maybe you need to, you know, get an account with them. If you're looking at selling on Amazon in the US, highly recommend it because um, you're gonna save some money there. And plus it's easy, they send you a debit card and everything. So if you ever go to the US, you need money, boom, you know what I mean? Like you have some right there. So that's what I'm gonna do with that account. Um, I haven't opened up a business account yet. I'll worry about that later. Um, you know, I just, didn't want to bother. I, I've got funds there, which are stuck. So this was the quickest and easiest way to, to, you know, get my get my money out so I can use it some, you know, elsewhere, or reinvest back into the business. So, again, a Canadian U.S. borderless account you can get from TD, World Bank, Bank of Montreal, maybe others. Are those the only ones that I've heard of? Um, so you know, feel free to check those out. If there are any, you know, links for these accounts or anything like that. I'll try to find them and I'll leave them in the description. Family's Friday night, we got uh, you know some family over from uh, back east. Gonna feast now, got some food, just gonna chill out. That's pretty much it, man, wind down the night. Such an awesome day, fam. Got a lot of work done. Um, had some great dinner, went to Jaipur to get uh, some food. Uh, we ate home today, like I said, we had family over. Um, so it was good, good food. Good Indian food, if you're ever in the area, go check out Jaipur. It's on Scott Road there, in between 88th and like 90th so those of you who live in the area will understand what I'm saying I'm just winding down the night um, It was a good day Regarding work I had no major problems. My cut over went smooth um, So next week I'll be busy trying to reverse the changes that I did tonight, but uh, I'll worry about that next week. You know what I mean? Tomorrow is Saturday. I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, there's a couple errands I got to do Got to go back to the bank uh, to finish something off that I started today. Um, hopefully I can get a chance to do that. I'll have the girls with me because uh, wifey's got to work. She's working like seven days a week, right? So I'll just probably hang out with them for most of the day. That's pretty much it, man. But I wanted to say if you're watching the vlog for the very first time, well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Please subscribe to part of the family. If you want to see more vlogs just like this, please click on the other guy. Of course, to my peeps, be you. Stay optimistic. Enjoy the rest of your night. Here's a big high five for me to all of you. Oh,